Here we're given matrix A, B, and C, and then we're asked which of the following products can be computed. In order to multiply two matrices, the number of columns in the first matrix must be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. Let's begin by determining the dimensions or size of matrix A, B, and C given here. Remember the dimensions are always given by rows by columns. So looking at matrix A, notice how there are one, two, three, four, five rows and one, two, three columns, which means matrix A is a five by three matrix. Looking at matrix B, there are one, two, three rows and one, two, three, four, five columns. So matrix B is a three by five matrix. And then finally matrix C has one, two, three rows and one, two, three columns. So matrix C is a three by three matrix. So notice first we have A times B, where matrix A is a five by three matrix, and matrix B is a three by five matrix. Now we want to focus on the number of columns in the first matrix and the number of rows in the second matrix. If these are equal, then we can compute the product. So because three equals three, we can find matrix A times matrix B. So we'll go ahead and put a check here. And we're not asked, but the result is going to be a five by five matrix. Next we have matrix C times matrix B. Matrix C is a three by three matrix. Matrix B is a three by five matrix. Again, notice how the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix, which means we can compute the product. So go ahead and put a check here. The result is going to be a three by five matrix. Next we have matrix B times matrix C. Matrix B is a three by five matrix. Matrix C is a three by three matrix. Notice here the number of columns in the first matrix does not equal the number of rows in the second matrix, which means we cannot compute this product. Next we have matrix B times A. Matrix B is a three by five matrix. Matrix A is a five by three matrix. The number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix, which means we can compute B times A, and the result would be a three by three matrix. Next we have A times C. A is a five by three matrix. C is a three by three matrix. Once again, the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix, which means we can compute A times C. And again, it doesn't ask, but the result of A times C would be a five by three matrix. And finally, we have matrix C times matrix A. Matrix C is a three by three matrix. Matrix A is a five by three matrix. Notice how the number of columns in the first matrix does not equal the number of rows in the second matrix, which means we cannot compute C times A. I hope you found this helpful.